here we are. We have the data in our Excel sheet. Because of the bookmark thing, instead of the eight records, we are getting three records and we have the header. So let's just run it for the sake of clarity. If I run that without the bookmark thing, you see I have all the eight records. Okay, so that's great. Now have we have the next target that was the email thing. So let's just get started with the email. So the second part of the question was that how we can get the table in email. So if we do that this table, we have to push HTML and let's get see the problem first. What's the exact problem? And then we can come to the solution part of it. So I'm going to do is I'm going to select this HTML and I'm going to write a test and the body is going to be the straight table and let's get the straight table. If I test run it and go to the history so I can see the output message that is sent so let me expand the message if i can okay the message is sent that's it okay so if we want to see the message let i want to have a table okay so let's get started how we can get the table so what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce the most powerful block that is a variable you can do wonders with that okay so let's I have created a variable named as table data. So if you want to create it, you can just go here and create a variable. So, and then the operation I'm going to add is append the table. So what's going to do? Why am I appending? So every loop, it's going to add a new value. And I'm going to get this data from here, the category. And let's start sales for category. is now let's get the second component sales amount yeah. and as we are using HTML so let's we have to use this HTML tag if you don't know these tags that's very easy you can just google it this is a line break tag so you can use that and there if you uh, if you want to do a formatting of your data, even you can create a HTML table. So you can use uh, this variable is essentially our HTML text of the values that we are going to get. And you can have that multi uh, whatever string that you want. There is no limitation on the string size as of now. And then we're going to call this variable. Let's test run it. And then we're going to call this variable here instead of the straight table we're going to call this variable and let's just put it the variable okay and make sure that you have this type of the email text is HTML so let's just run it now So now our email looks like something like this. Yes, if you can argue, that this is not the exact table, but uh, if you know a little bit of HTML, uh, that I myself don't know very much, but you can, I'm pretty sure I have seen uh, that you can build tables in HTML and using this information. So uh, you can work on it and have some nice output. Uh, this is one of the basic, you can have it bold, you can have it you know categorized so it's up to you uh, so that's pretty much it from my side
keep watching thank you all right